Well guys, today I'm going to show you, review, test this beautiful Pioneer SA8800 yeah. and uh, let me see if I can make the zoom better yeah, now the zoom is better and to be honest it is not mine no, it is from Simon, Simon is here with me and I always have so much fun when I make videos with Simon together. Uh, yeah, the thing is, I see Simon as the Morant specialist. He knows much about Morant and always learning from this guy. But uh, I earlier had a 708, eh? a 708, I think. Yeah, the 708. Yeah, uh, with the same blue lightning, but. Uh, I had two of them. One absolutely sounded terrible. That thing needed a recap, and one sounded fantastic. Since then I'm hunting for a big, this bigger brother, the seven thousand eight hundred, the eighty eight hundred, the nine thousand eight hundred. Yeah, that's a different series. And for me, for me, this this series, the eighty eight hundred, the eighty nine thousand eight hundred, are the most beautiful pioneer amplifiers I think they are on the market on the vintage market and uh, uh, earlier we reviewed that 9100 okay people are saying that maybe, sounds better than this thing maybe it sounds better yeah it sounds better but even though it sounds better it doesn't look like this one you know and and, and, and for me, if, if I could choose the 9100, 2 times 60 watt, yeah. VS this thing, 2 times 80 watt, mm, I would go for this one even if the 9100 sounds better. I would go for this one just because of the beautiful looks with that blue lightning scale over here. Yeah, yeah and the actual functions. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, from which year is it? 88? 78? Oh, it's the end of the 70s. 79? Let me uh, do a uh, quick search. No, it doesn't matter. Not, not important. Not important. No, I think that's... So, I think 78, 79. And it's 2080 watt. It's heavy. It's very heavy. 79 to 81. So, uh, like it's a dual, dual model? No, no. no only, only the 9800 is a dual, dual model. model. This one and you bought this thing and brought it to John, and uh, John. Yeah, I had, I had to deal with him. Uh, but but he had a hard job with this thing. Yeah, this thing was uh, completely total loss. That's that's exactly as I you know I had two of those SA ninety one hundred pioneers, and he really wanted one, and I gave him a very good price, very good price, yeah, dirt cheap. And I told him to him, he, he can buy it for that price, but I will bring you three amplifiers. You have to fix for me for free. Okay. And one of these, I know this one was a absolute monster of the fix because everything went wrong. Mm. He had a very hard time repairing this thing, but it, it's back alive. Because he was nearly to the point here that he would say that this thing is a port machine. But I think that's a fair deal. Yeah. What I did today was not fair, Herbert Ali. <laughs> no, eh? I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> I will not mention that in this video. Eh? No, don't. <laughs> no, better not. I mean, come on, Ali. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, for me, uh, this amplifier, if I had this amplifier, I could live with this. In, and everybody knows how many amplifiers I had. A lot. Uh, a lot. But More than me. Uh, the sound of this amplifier is, is in fact, an excellent sound, my friends. I mean, of course, the 9100 sounds better, but uh, maybe now I have other amplifiers what sounds better, but nothing looks like this one. I mean, I think they are were, they were one of a kind with because most of them have view meters. Yeah, I, I really like this style. Only the problem is with these displays is that they can burn out. Yeah. It's a possibility. I have seen it happen before, and then you are left with an amplifier with a non-working display, and getting one is extremely hard. 
Mm. It's like winning a lottery ticket, getting one of these displays. Mm. And I believe the 7800 has a different display than the 8800 and the 9800. Mm. I believe that the 8800 and the 9800 had the same displays. But this one is still perfect. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> but, you know, uh, everything can break, I mean. But yeah. the, 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 the thing is, there was not, I mean, all of them had view meters or no view meters, but none of them had this, 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 yeah. uh, and that's, I, I mean, Pioneer is, I think, a little bit underrated, um, but if I can be honest to you, I see, or my belief, I see, uh, some pieces, not every piece from Pioneer, but some pieces are equal in quality as, as Marans. Or even better. I actually prefer working on Pioneer than Marans. Yeah. I'm not sure. You know, Pioneer was big in car brands, car audio, car audio, those. Uh, in, in, in the time when, uh, nowadays, uh, cars come from the factory with built-in radio built in navigation and they use brands like Bose uh, and Infinity and etc etc but I don't see that they use Pioneer eh? no while Pioneer was in the 90s the biggest car brand uh, from the world I mean uh, I still see it very much in the aftermarket scene People yeah, aftermarket. Yeah, in the aftermarket scene, but, they are still very, yeah, very but, big man. But I do not know one car brand what use Pioneer as their, well, build, they build in factory stuff. No, they use brands like Bose, Infinity, but Pioneer was in the 90s the best uh, receiver builder. They, they had those amplified tuners yeah beautiful sound beautiful sound i had some pioneers in the 80s and in the, in, in the 90s beautiful stuff my friends and, but um, this stuff this is where it all started the home equipment and yeah this is typically an example of uh, how good Pioneer could build stuff because I mean it is just a marvelous looking piece, uh, a museum, an art, a thing of art, and, and with those 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 blue lights, it is a, just a beautiful thing, my friends. I mean, they don't make them anymore like this. I, <laughs> I, I don't think they they can make it like this anymore. Yeah, they can, but it would be a fortune. No, no, they use uh, uh, chips in those. In those no, movies. but. Uh, but of course, of course, this technology is still there, so people can still bottle this, but they just won't because production costs are very, very high. And yeah, they have to charge a lot for, for it. I think in the, in the current uh, world that we live in, with throwing things away after five years, I would love to see these things come back. But well, it's not only with audio, but with everything. Modern well. amplifiers you can still repair, modern amplifiers. Well, those if you, if 5.1 you buy, things, you can't. No, yeah, you if, can, if, but if it's you buy a stereo interface. Yeah, but then you're talking about a brand that costs you can several still, thousands. You can still, like that advanced acoustic I, I had, you can repair it if it broke down. You can repair it. Yeah, but if you go out and... Yeah, you can, but... What is in there? No, the sound quality. That's so why also I, build quality. I, I, I mean... I, for the looks, I so love that advanced acoustic, but in the end, um, I could not live with the sound. That's the reason why I sold that set. And no, I also didn't like it. Yeah, but this thing have it all. It have the looks, and it have the sound. I yeah. mean, and 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 it have that nostalgic, rare thing that it is from the seventies. That it is. I mean, try to score a 8800 these days. I'm not sure what the price is, but man, you have you have to dig deep in your pockets to buy one today. And, and I mean, I'm not sure when you see this video. If you see this video five years later, 
Yeah, it'd be more expensive in five years. And oh, definitely. Yeah. They own it already, so. Especially this stuff, this stuff. I mean, maybe not the cheapest one and the Pioneer stuff, like a Pioneer 424, you know. Yeah, those things are yeah. still very cheap. But, or yeah. the Pioneer SX450, those one. I don't see. Well, they, they are. In the past, I could buy it for 25 euro on SX450. Even those cost today 100 euro. And, uh, but this this thing, after so many amplifiers I had, I could live with this. With the sound, with the looks, I could live with this. It's my main amplifier in my living room. And, 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 and this, is, this is how it sounds, my friends. Uh, really beautiful. I mean, I mean, I knew that this, I never had this before, never, never heard this before, I had the 708 and the 708 just sounded fantastic, so I thought, okay, 708 sounds fantastic, this bigger brother should sound even better, and this is, this is how it sounds. And these
<laughs> just short, short, short sound clip, my friend. Uh, beautiful sound, and um, do not hesitate. You see this thing? Do not doubt it for the quality. Um, um, I can't say every British device you should buy, but if you can buy this one, you have the money. You're doubting. Do not doubt. Just buy. Thanks for watching this video. Put a thumbs up if you like it. And for now, I say ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao.